Welcome back. Let's do our density dial in. It starts by weighing out 100 grams of coffee. We pop that into the dosing cup. Before starting, it's good to note that you can do a density dial in with as little as 80 grams of green coffee. Any volume below that is going to make it difficult to get an accurate reading with the current tube. Although our roast unit does let us allow 50 grams roast size, until we make a smaller tube. It is very important that we have about 100 to 80 grams of coffee to do this process successfully. We start by unscrewing the cap, inverting it, and then sitting it to the side. Now with your coffee in the dosing cup, we are going to tear off the open density tube. Next, we'll sit that into the tray. We do this because when we do the reading, we need to overfill the density tube with the coffee from our dosing cup. We keep pouring until it's overfilled. When done, we set the cup to the side. Now with the inverted lid, we're going to hold the tube with one hand and with the other level it off. To level off, use a side-to-side -side motion to push the excess coffee into the bean tray. It's very important to check that we have done a good level of the tube. When done correctly, we'll see that the lid and the tube sit almost flush. If it's sitting a little bit too high, then this indicates that we've slightly compacted or settled the coffee too much. Remember, it's important to just push the coffee in a side-to-side -side motion and that we're not tapping or compacting. We use this method as it's easy to replicate and reduces inconsistency in readings between users. When leveled correctly, we now weigh the tube with the coffee in it. For this first reading, we see that it is 66.6. .6. To confirm the process was done correctly, I'm going to repeat the process. I like to do this at least one more time before putting the data into our app. If large discrepancies between the first two readings occur, ideally, it's best to repeat a third time. Average the two readings that are most similar, disregarding the anomaly. Note it is normal to see a discrepancy between 0.3 to 0.8 between the readings. This tolerance for variation is okay because it's not an exact science. We're purely working on an approximation to give us an idea of where this coffee should be sitting in the profiling system. Even if you see those slight discrepancies, it will not factor drastically into the solution. As you can see when we repeat the process, this one is now reading 66.3. So we've dropped 0.3. But when we pop this into the density reading section of our app, it will populate the same suggestion for our profile. And that is a wrap. Hopefully, this video makes clear the best and simplest way for you to get an accurate volume by weight density reading. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy roasting!